Hey guys, Patricia Zars here, your Texas pool concierge. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. Here on Pool Talk with Trish, we talk all about swimming pools and we specifically focus on fiberglass pools. And I answer lots of different frequently asked questions that you guys have out there about having swimming pools installed and about maintaining swimming pools once they are in your yard. And one question we often get is about the water in the pool and whether or not you need an automatic fill line to keep the water at the optimal level. So today on Pool Talk with Trish, we're gonna talk about whether or not you need to add a water fill line to your fiberglass swimming pool. So let's dive in. Okay, so anytime you have a body of water out in the elements, you're going to run into the water evaporating over time. And of course, the time frame for this evaporation is going to be dependent on what type of climate that you're in. So in some of your warmer climates, you may see it happen a little bit more quickly. But do you actually need a dedicated water line to keep the pool refilled? And the short answer is no. So what we've found is the dedicated water line can actually cause a lot more maintenance and issues over the lifetime that you have the pool. And one thing we all love about the fiberglass pool is how much less maintenance they are than other types of pools. So adding in an element of additional maintenance and having another part that could possibly break and need to be repaired or replaced down the road isn't desirable for most pool owners. The good news is it's easy to keep the water refilled in your pool and there's several ways you can do it that don't actually require a lot of additional maintenance on your part. So the first way is to just manually put your garden hose in every week or two, depending on how quickly you're seeing the pool water evaporate, to bring the pool water back up to the optimal level of about the halfway mark of your pool skimmer. Now, of course, you are gonna have to make sure that you remember to turn the hose off once the pool reaches that level. So if you want to make it even easier on yourself, what we recommend is a simple hose timer that you can purchase pretty much at any home improvement store like Lowe's or Home Depot, or even simply order off of Amazon. They tend to be pretty inexpensive, averaging anywhere from maybe about $15 to $40. And then you can simply put it on your hose yourself. And that way, when you turn the hose on to add the water to your pool, you simply set the timer for a couple hours, and then it will automatically turn off on its own. No need for remembering on your part. And this tends to be a much more economical and a much more efficient way to keep the water levels where they need to be. You're not drilling any additional holes in the pool or adding additional parts that can cause leaks or costly repairs down the road. And that'll help you keep your fiberglass pool as low maintenance as possible. So I hope you found this information valuable. If you did, like it, share it out with anyone else you feel may benefit from it. I would love to see your comments as well. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always call or text 210-834-7054. I'm always here to answer any and all of your pool questions. And if you're on my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe, you hit that little bell icon so that you get notified of any new future content. I look forward to seeing you soon and I can't wait to help you get swimming.